In the latest of his visits to key entities around Gibraltar, Sir David Steele came to Broadcasting House to find out about the work done at GBC. He visited a number of departments, including the newsroom, Radio Gibraltar and the TV studio, speaking to staff about their roles within the public broadcaster. The governor said meeting the people of Gibraltar was central to his role. Since arriving, the one thing I wanted to do is get out and meet the people of Gibraltar and obviously the Covid restraint has meant I haven't been able to go to schools and to many of the charities. So I've really concentrated on seeing the institutions and organisations over the last five weeks that I've been here. And it's been amazing to go and see the diversity of operations that happen in Gibraltar. Everything from the power station to here we are at GBC today to see the fantastic facilities here but how much more brilliant they're going to be when you move to the new building uh, later on in the, uh, next, in the early part of next year. Um, but most of all, it's not just going to see the organisations, it's going to see the people. Getting out and about and meeting the, pe meeting the people of Gibraltar is absolutely central to what I think the role of governor is all about. And so people can talk to the governor, and in particular, I can talk to them. Uh, and I was only thinking this morning about uh, it's time that I, I did a report to Her Majesty the Queen. And... Um, I couldn't have done that if I hadn't got out and, and spoke to people. And I know when I write a letter to the Queen and tell her my first impressions of Gibraltar, it will all be about the people and the welcome I've received here and how everybody in Gibraltar smiles all the time. Well, it's been incredibly uh, good to have Sir David with us today. He's been very impressed with what he's seen, uh, yet um, it being a, a very old and tired uh, building and facility that we have. Uh, but uh, Sir David has been able to see predominantly the good work that is done by what really makes GBC. Because what makes GBC is not the bricks and mortar around us, it's the people within it. And we're so lucky to have the uh, crew that we have here that make television and radio and online material for us that uh, we do what, what we do. Uh, and uh, going down to that new building, uh, as Sir David has been able to see from the plans that we've shown him and, and the like, uh, he believes that that will be a major step forward for GBC, a major change and a huge opportunity that I'm sure that all of us who work within it will grasp. And down there at South Jumpers Bastion, things are going well, a bit delayed as you can imagine because of COVID and one thing and the other. So uh, the technical fit out uh, is now expected to start in late September. That'll take about four months. And with commissioning and training in the beginning of the year, hopefully we'll be live from South Jumpers Bastion around March, April next year. As well as CEO Jared Deuma, Sir David Steele was accompanied by Chairman of the GBC Board, Pepe Caruana, who took up his post earlier this year. I've loved it. Uh, I was, I mean, I took no time in deciding to take to accept the offer of the post because I've been a big fan of GBC. I think the um, staff uh, have always, well, uh, and uh, you know, over the years have showed great professionalism. And I think it's been a, a, a baptism of fire for me, given that, that my appointment started just as COVID was taking, was, was taking hold. And I think what we've seen is really GBC come in into its own, um, being such a, re, a reassurance for the public um, in, in terms of, you know, the, the, uh, the, 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 the valuable, um, the valuable uh, work that the presenters do in providing the reassurance, the new service, and uh, the great service that GBC provides to the community at large. Following his trip to GBC, the governor said he was looking forward to a number of further visits, from the tunnels in the Upper Rock and the Northern Defences to Gibraltar's care homes, and in particular the dementia home at Hillsides, whose staff, along with all healthcare professionals, he praised for their hard work throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Sir David said his aim is to better understand what is happening in Gibraltar, every day of the week, 365 days a year.